Hey, true believers, Chris Matt coming at you today with Dark Knight's Death Metal, Speed Metal, Issue 1. And one thing that I have noticed, kind of reading through Death Metal, if you read the main event book in and of itself, you miss a lot. And this is what I was talking about when I originally reviewed Dark Knight's Death Metal, which you can go back and check my old videos. I was rather harsh on it. Because when you start to read these individual stories, it enhances the main book, which I can kind of get, you know, comics want to sell their uh, their books, etc. so forth. I just hate that they left a lot out in Death Metal compared to the first um, Metal book, which you didn't really need to read everything if you didn't want to and still enjoy it. That said, this is a great book that focuses on Wally West. I remember during the New 52, he was just gone. And nobody knew what the hell was happening. It wasn't until Rebirth that he came back and was explained how he was lost to the Speed Force. And it opened saying, I was out of time. Lost in the Speed Force while the world I love change. But I remembered the gift my uncle gave me. And it brought me to him. He was my lightning rod. And I can't remember which issue of Flash this was where Barry or Wally finally returns and Barry says, how could I ever forget you. Now, one thing I want you guys to kind of look at here as we're reading this series, think of how in the main Justice League book, and a lot of them, how they make Barry the jokester. He's not the jokester, and I hate that that's his kind of portrayal. The Flash characters, they're always a little more stern, but compassionate. Listen to the way that they talk here. Barry, it wasn't just me that was forgotten. There were others. There were friendships, relationships. Are you sure this wasn't my fault? It wasn't, Barry. It was something else. And then this is where the writers <coughs> explain how Dr. Manhattan created the new 52 universe, basically breaking our traditional one. He goes, it was someone else. And it kind of goes through all the history of Wally, what he's lost, what he's gained, how he's been trying to fix the timeline, bad decisions that were made in his books, how like they tried to make him a bad guy, which was, yeah, we're not going to go there. And then we get into the Batman who laughs. A mad creature birthed from the deepest pits of the dark multiverse was disrupting our world worse than ever before, turning us away from our hopes toward despair. So he's talking about how Wally had... Um, Anti, the anti-matter within his system, hence why he kind of has that Doc, what do you call it, Doc Manhattan look. <clears throat> he says how the Dark Knight, the Batman who laughs, tried to steal the Mobius chair. So I'm glad that they sort of try to keep the main continuity of the Flash comics in Death Metal. So here, I think this is after issue three of Death Metal, Wally's using the Speed Force to try to go back in time, trying to fix things, but the Speed Force is quickly diminishing. This is called Speed Metal, Joshua Williamson, writer, writer. <laughs> Eddie Barrows, penciler, Eber Fiera doing the inks, Andrano Lucas doing the colors, Steve Wands doing the lettering, and there's everyone else working on the book, and um, I'll be honest, I have no idea who created The Flash, so if you guys could fill me in down in the comments, I would appreciate it. Now, I've said in the past that I don't have anything against Joshua Williamson, but I've read like some of his Batman and other books, and they just, they don't have the sizzle like you'd read like in James Tenyon or Chip Zdarsky. I just feel like he's not there yet. However, after reading this, Williamson should definitely do The Flash because he, in a sense, the way that he's able to capture the emotions of the characters, this reminded me kind of like when I first read a Flash Rebirth when they brought back Barry Allen and Jeff Johns was writing that. I just sensed that here. Now the Dark Knight, or the Batman who laughs, should I say, sends all these zombie flashes after him. And when they touch you, it burns. And what I like is Jay Garrick, he goes, that burns all right. He goes, it's been an honor to run alongside you again. But I think this is my stop. Barry says, you'd never leave us on the field, Jay, and neither will we. No flashes left behind. <clears throat> and then this panel, Eddie, the pencils on this thing, Eddie Barrow's pencils on top of the rest of the art team, just absolutely phenomenal 
work. Now Barry, Barry, Wally stops time to try to get a minute to think about how they can kickstart the speed force, how they can get to the Mobius chair, but everyone's feeling the effects of the speed force being pulled upon by these zombie flashes, the four of them trying to work together. And while this is happening, what really starts to hit me is there's a quiet moment between Wally and Barry. And he goes, I've saved the multiverse tons of times, more than I can count, alone with the Flashes, the Justice League, or family. From the edges of time to the fourth world, I ran saving lives. And yet, I always feel like I'm running behind you. I worked so hard to get out of your shadow, but when you returned, I got shoved back into it. That's not what I wanted. When I was gone, I missed so much, and part of that was you growing up. Growing up from Kid Flash to the Flash, and sometimes I forget that. That's my thing to deal with. I'm just afraid of losing you again, that's all. A lot happened since I saw you last. There's so much to tell you. And they finally have a moment where Barry understands that Wally is no longer this kid. He's his own hero, even though he didn't get to see Wally grow into the man that he is. And the troops rally. <clears throat> this is where we get our first look at. This is from the McFarlane line. This is where we first could see him in these death metal uniforms. And like, what's happening? I could feel him putting pressure on the speed force, finding cracks to get us corrupting it. And so this whole kind of ticking clock works in this sense since the flashes always work in time. I mean, even the beginning when he says my Uncle Barry gave me this watch, it says every second counts. And because of the selflessness of the flashes, Wally really comes into his own. He goes, the people that have always kept me moving no matter how hard things got, my lightning rods, I need to stop waiting for the universe to show me a path and make my own. I remember the inscription on the watch Barry gave me. All I need is one more second. <clears throat> and it gives him a moment of peace that he can choose rather to go back or be with those that matter to him in his life. And because of the hero he is, he chooses to go back and says that we'll all be together again this isn't goodbye and then it continues on into dark knight's death metal issue four but this was a very great character piece of the entire flash family of course jay um wally west jr wally west himself barry allen bart allen johnny quick all these characters and in, in here and it feels seriously like joshua williamson sat down and read what jeff johns did before uh, Flashpoint and was trying to flesh out with Barry Allen. This is an excellent book. And yes, even though there's the death metal thematic to it, <clears throat> you are focusing on this family and what it means to each and every single one of them. This is an excellent issue. And if you're a big Flash fan, this is something you want in your collection. So if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please first and foremost support your local comic shop or wherever it is that teach you comics and action figures and grab yourself a copy. And if you've enjoyed this review, we really would appreciate if you take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. Helps the club channel more than you could possibly know. And if you don't mind hitting that fancy little flash fact bell next to subscribe, that way as we continue to upload content, you guys get notified. Come to the channel, and we love talking with y'all and hearing your thoughts and feedback down in the comments below or our social media pages, which I'll make sure to leave the links down in the description. So with all that said, I hope y'all continue to have an absolutely amazing day reading and happy hunting. True believers.